Hello there everyone, this is Jeff C from Free Radio Revolution. It is Saturday, November the 1st, 2014. And I have a red alert for Canada. I have been working hard, along with many others, and in conjunction with many others, to break down the latest Canadian false flag. I am 100% confident to say that this is a total hoax. This is a staged event, and we have concrete proof that cannot be disputed. We have caught the corporate media lying through their teeth. We have caught the government, the RCMP, lying through their teeth about the events that took place on the 22nd of October, where allegedly Corporal Nathan Cirillo was gunned down by an estranged gunman, Michael Zehaf Bebo. I'm here to tell you that none of that happened. And it was all a big, a giant play. And I've been showing this over and over again. And you Canadians who haven't been paying attention should go back and watch all the videos that I've done. And many other people have done as well. And I've featured many different other channels on my channel on Free Radio Revolution 1 as well. Showing what exactly is going on. And we have done this. I have done this for many years now. All right. I gained notoriety for covering Sandy Hook for being one of the first per, uh, people on the planet to call it a false flag and to break it down. I've covered so many of these false flags from the Boston bombing to the Navy Yards to the Lax Dummy to the beheadings to Cassidy Stay to eh, all these different Moncton shooting, all these. I've broken down so many of them. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos available on YouTube that shows my work and my pedigree. I will not post fake information. If something is proven wrong in my videos, I take them down. But the corporate media will do no such thing. They will feed you bullshit all day long. Huge steaming heapfuls. All right? So what I want to bring to your attention today, Canada and the rest of the world and everyone else that is in the five eyes, Australia, New Zealand, United States, UK, you better all be paying attention, folks. Because what goes down here goes down where you are. And many of you already know this. Many of you and other parts of the world have already witnessed these shootings, these fake staged psyops, which are designed to destroy your rights, to destroy the Constitution of America, destroy the Charter of Freedoms, destroy all the rights that our ancestors fought for and bled for. Right? So that we could have a free and just society. Well, that is coming to a quick end as the new world order comes in. And I want to bring you to perhaps what is the most damning piece of information dealing with this Canadian PSYOP. Courtesy of Memory Hole Blog. Yes, this is uh, Professor James Tracy. The professor of uh, Florida Atlantic University who stuck his neck out during the Sandy Hook hoax. He was the first one, the first uh, academic to come out in the United States and question the official narrative of the Sandy Hook's 100% hoax. And as a result, he was suspended, if I'm not mistaken. He, uh, many of his colleagues turned on him. The whole university threw him under a bus. The, the, the dean of the university threw him under a bus. Uh, CNN actually uh, tried to um, ambush him doing ambush interviews, all of a sudden popping out, uh, you know, out of the woodwork right after he's finished a class, trying to get him, catch him on the scene. And then they refused to interview him properly on Anderson Cooper's 100% bullshit, keeping them honest, Anderson 360. So James Tracy is one of these guys, one of the few guys, one of the few academics in the world that has actually stuck his neck out to come out and call a spade a spade. And for that, he deserves a tremendous amount of respect. And I will post the links for this below. You should all go and subscribe to Memory Hole Blog. He does some tremendous work. And once again, he has come through with uh, shining colors here, dealing with this Ottawa hoax. As you can see the title here, dated October the 31st, yeah, Halloween, just yesterday, October, or sorry, Ottawa shooting evidence of staged false flag attack. I don't have time to go through the whole thing and I won't. I've already covered a lot of these different angles that he's shown, but he's done an excellent job. But I want to show you the most damning piece of evidence that is here. This absolutely sinks 
the entire story 100%. There's no disputing this. Here we go. Exhibit 2. Finally, the irrefutable evidence. The one giant hole that sinks this alleged crazed terrorist rampage in downtown Ottawa of any of its buoyancy. Evan Solomon, who is a 100% scumbag and should spend the rest of his life behind bars of the CBC reveals, to use his own words, details of exactly how the incident went down in Central Block in the Hall of Honor by the library. I made so much fun of this. I showed you the, the um, sergeant at arms, the old senior citizen who flew through the air, flying on his back, shooting at the same time, how ridiculous it was, playing the Terminator music in the background, right? Well, take a look at Google's virtual tour of the parliament building at the exact spot where Evan Solomon conspicuously states the location of where the shooter was shot and this is what you get taken April 2013. The numbers are beside the bullet holes. These markings, folks, where they tried to show you the nine bullets, right? They love that number. Were already there in 2013. And this is 100% verifiable right here, folks. Here's the virtual tour, right? And you can see them. Let's see if we can zoom in. There they are, folks. There's the holes, the, the alleged bullet holes, right? You see what I'm saying? It's all, was already there. Street View, 2013. Okay? And there was Evan Solomon here showing you, right? Showing you the bullets. And there are the bullets here. The, the markings that were already there. Who knows what they were there? Maybe they had something up against here and they pulled it out. It looks like they, these, well, if I show you here, looks like these two could have been a shelf or something. You know, who knows, right? Just some damage, whatever. Somebody nicked it or whatever. And they used these as bullet holes. This scumbag here, Evan Solomon, who should spend the rest of his life behind bars, as should the entire government that is behind this, CSIS, RCMP, the works. How dare they try to do this to you, Canada? Where is the outrage? Why can you show up with flowers and, and tears to these fake shootings and you can't respond with anger, legitimate anger to what they are doing to you when you see the truth right in front of your eyes? This is irrefutable, folks. And I think he even posts the video here so that we can... Uh, yes, here we go. Let me just skip ahead to show you and of where they did it. Tonight, we can... Right? There you go. You would see there are nine bullet holes in the wall. This would be where Bebo himself was standing, let alone the number of rounds that actually hit Bebo. Scumbag. Fact, of one bullet actually was didn't even hit the alcove. It went right through the library doors right into the library. That's a bullet hole in the desk of the library, deep inside the library barrage of gunfire that we've all heard. Let me give you an idea of how many rounds were expended. If you look at that alcove today, this is what you would see. There are nine bullet holes in the wall. This would be where Bebo himself was standing, let alone the number of rounds that actually hit Bebo. In fact, of one bullet actually was, didn't even hit the alcove. It went right through the library doors right into the library. That's a bullet hole in the desk of the library, deep inside the library. No one was injured. All right, what happened then? Dumb See? Dives around the... This is the story. Bebo's on the other side. They are literally an arm's length from each other, just around the pillar. Sources tell CBC that the sergeant at arms could actually see the barrel